Where's my chicken pot pie? Hey folks, welcome to another uneventful episode of this podcast. Since 2008, I've been doing this thing way ahead of the podcast curve. And uh, this podcast should have been over many years ago, even before the pandemic, but it keeps going. Uh, I'm going to start out by talking about, uh, of course, the uh, top secret project, which was the Chicken Pot Pie song and video. I recorded it about two weeks ago, and I was shooting for about a week and a half, more like shooting myself in the head. You know, I go to the same park that's a couple blocks from my house, like all my other music videos, and I was trying to think of different ideas, shooting some stuff in Target, shooting some stuff in a drive through shooting my load in my car, all those different types of stuff. And then um, I decided to put my green screen up, shoot it on there, because I was running out of places to go, and I'm always paranoid somebody's watching me or something. And uh, we put out another shitty music video, and I I made a YouTube short for it. It didn't get a ton of views, but hey, that's cool. Uh, I got more than I thought I would get. So we got that going, and then um, pretty much uh, no prank call show this week. I totally forgot to write down numbers. I was so busy worrying about the video and stuff. And then, uh, fucking, we did do an episode of Tales from the Shit. I was going to do it next week, this week coming up for Halloween. I decided, you know what, I'll do it a week early. It doesn't matter because there was five Mondays last month, was this month, the whole thing. I was like, I'll just do it early. So we did that. Uh, I didn't do much this week. Wednesday, um, I didn't do any comedy. I didn't get any stage time this week. I couldn't went to Jersey, but I banned myself from that room. I said, I'm not going to go back. There's no point. I couldn't went to the music comedy open mic. I went to the week before. Instead, I got a Chipotle bowl. I went inside the uh, Target. I was thinking about shooting some stuff, and I didn't. But, you know, I got some stuff that I needed. I sat in the park a lot. I didn't do anything. We just cleaned my car. I didn't really, I really didn't do much. I was just uh, sitting there relaxing like a weirdo. And then uh, Friday night, you guys saw the video blog. I went down to Hold City, and uh, I parked my car pretty far. I didn't get a good parking spot. I drank my concoction of the jacked. And then I walked, um, as I was walking back to my car to check on it, because I was parked like, near a tow zone, I was very paranoid. You guys saw me troll some uh, some uh, tour buses, yelling out, where's my chicken pot pie? I was kind of drunk at that point. So I got a better parking spot. The person behind me left. I, parked, I, I moved my car back. And then I went to Stowe's. That's my piss spot. And I decided to buy a shot and a beer. And I was already drunk at this point, but uh, there wasn't much to do. So I bought a shot and a beer. I was talking to this Indian guy and this Turkish-looking dude. They were like, yeah, we go to city bars and stuff. And the Indian guy was approaching this black chick trying to get laid. And uh, I was in there for about 20, 30 minutes. Took a piss. Sat outside. Tried to sober up, drink some water. I got a big, giant slice of sausage pizza in the water. And I, I was peeing like crazy. And I didn't really do much. I was just walking around, video blogging, doing much. I took a piss and a shit at the uh, hotel bar where I parked my... Not too far, I parked my car at, and then that was it. I drove home, and then last night, I was going to go out. I said, there's not much choices. Just go back to Old City again, which I'm not going. I'm pretty sure, as far as how many people were dressed up, only 30% of the people out were dressed up. No Phillies game this year. Let's go Diamondbacks. And speaking of that, I want to give a shout-out to Arizona Diamondbacks for eliminating the Philadelphia Phillies. Thank you so much. Absolutely amazing. That was The Phillies looked like they were going to win. I was... Uh, you know, it wasn't looking good, and I kept saying in my head, I'm not going to watch the game. Let's go Diamondbacks. I checked the score, and it was over, and I was so happy. Oh, so many butthurt Phillies fan. Red October. More like you got it up your ass, Red. See you next year, you freaks. Oh, man. I love the Diamondbacks. I love that. I, thank you so much. I don't care if they win the World Series or not. I don't care who wins them or the other team, but thank you for doing that. So they won. And then, uh, you know, and then fucking Saturday night, I didn't go out last night. I was like, there's not much to do. It's either go to the cabaret and drink some more, which I didn't feel like. And I was hungover for the night before. I could sit in the park a lot, which I don't feel like doing. It was beautiful out last night, like 75 degrees. The last nice day for a while. And I just didn't do anything. I just played some video games. I just fucking listened to some shit. I didn't do anything. And then uh, that's pretty much it for the week. Uh, this coming week, I got my open mic. The last couple turnouts have been bad. I'm not expecting a good turnout tomorrow night, but all we can do is hope that it's a little bit better. Now that the Phillies are over, I don't know, but uh, this could be the end, folks. This could be the end, but I've been saying that for a while now. But speaking of the end, this podcast, the end, this is the first but yet worst comedy podcast. This is your favorite podcast show that most people don't listen to. And now it's time for your least favorite segment. It's time for the odd news.
And by the way, before we get to the other news, I was watching some clips of Burger Planet. He had over a thousand viewers. He was streaming on Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, he was, it was really funny. He was trying to pick up this girl. He, uh, she was going to the ATM. I said, oh, what are you trying to do, buy some Coke? She was like, what? She got all mad. I said, oh, I was just joking. I could watch that shit all day. Oh, Burger. He's so silly. Uh, all right, let's, let's see what's going on in the odd news. A large quantity of bull semen was stolen in a burglary. Ah, uh, that's bullshit. By the way, I heard that Matthew Perry died from the show Friends. He drowned. I had no clue that guy was that deep. All right, that's terrible. Uh, oh, by the way, they were posting stuff from him on a conservative website about getting vaxxed. They said that's what he died from. Like, this guy wanted to get the vax. I don't know if that's what killed him, by the way. But rest in peace. Uh, Italian mother wins court case to evict her two sons aged 40 and 42. Yeah, I heard Italians and Puerto Ricans. It's only okay to live at home with your parents. Mostly Italians, though. Uh, employees skipped out of personal hygiene when working from home. Now deodorant is the unlikely winner of the return to office mandate. So, a lot of people used to not wearing deodorant. And everyone's like, you gotta put some fucking deodorant on your own. You smell like dog shit. People are speaking with chat GPT for hours. Bringing 2013's her closest to reality. Australian woman causes outrage for opening a sushi restaurant because she wasn't Asian. So, so, so she wants to be Australian and have a... Uh, why does that cause outrage? Why are these Asians so racist? I don't know. Teeny jumping spider found a woman's ear after days of torture was racket. The spider was nested on her eardrum. Ah, I don't want to see that. If you guys hear drums, get to the doctor. Uh, it says San Francisco employees are wearing bulletproof vests while enforcing street vending rules. Yeah, I heard that whole city's fucked up. There's so much crime in San Francisco. And we all know who's doing it. I can't say it, but, well, you know. White Castle is hiring robots as fry cooks and seeing improvements in service and order and accuracy. Yeah, we all know that robots can do a better job than, well, you know. Health Department investigating Comoco Taco Bell after employees photograph cutting hair in a kitchen. Ew, that's fucking disgusting. Don't do that shit. You're gonna get the fucking hair on the grande. No hair on the grande. Uh, Napoli's private airline with 69 passengers landed in the wrong city. Maybe some people wanted to go there. Off-duty pilot tried to shut down plane's engine mid-flight claims he was under the influence of psychedelic mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms would do it to you. I've never been on mushrooms, and I probably will never will. Only time I like mushrooms is on pizza. <laughs> uh, White House press secretary says she, mis she misheard the question on anti-Semitism during the briefing. Oh, I didn't know I was, I was supposed to be an anti-Semite. Las Vegas woman left U2 concert to take 50000 from Sugar Daddy's hotel safe. Damn. The second biggest producer in China says it's probing a viral video that appears to show a man peeing in a container of ingredients. Ew. You want to say pea broccoli? That's just pea broccoli. Florida woman's drunken ride at 125 miles per hour ends with violent fingernail attack on a trooper. She tried to claw his eyes out, but she fought the law on the law one. Eight million year old radio signal reaches Earth. Two tw 20 years of good looking priest. 20 years of good looking priest in Rome. What? Uh, Michigan State shows images of Hitler and stadium video board apologizes during Michigan laws. Uh, let's see what else. Just one more site we can go to. We might end this show much earlier than usual. If we do, well then, I don't know what to tell you. A restaurant adds fifty dollars unable to parent free fee for rowdy kids. Oh, that that's awesome. But what do you do if they're uh, a certain race? Because that can cause uh, something. The hot new party where the birthday boy pees on your leg. Ew. I think a lot of guys would like that. A lot of freaking homos. Mom goes to court. Okay, I read that. 65-year-old Indian man sets himself on fire over delay in serving tea. I know this comedian who's 65. Uh, he's, he's, in his, he's pretty old. His name's Lakshmi. I hope it wasn't him. He's hilarious. Uh, stereo speaker battles a Blair, Celine Dion tunes, and torment a New Zealand city. Cargo of fireworks explodes in an hour light show. After Highway 1 crash in Southwest BC. Swimming competition permits man 50 to compete against 13 year old girls, then they try to deny it. That's disgusting. 1,000 cats are saved from being slaughtered for meat in China. That's nice. Those Chinese people, by the way, they don't just kill the cats, they rip the skin off the cats while they're alive 
And then they deep fry them. I saw that in a documentary. It's fucking disgusting. At least kill them. You know? They just let them suffer when they're alive. They're disgusting. Man in charge as search continues for pet pythons. Allegedly dumped in Sydney Street. A hyena? Lizzo? Oh, come on. Leave her alone already. Bites teen who put arm through a fence at a barn horn preserve. New York cartoon about a dog in the internet breaks auction records. Iconic 1993 image by Peter Steiner just became the most valuable single panel comic ever sold. An Idaho woman sues her paternity doctor, says he used his own sperm to impregnate her 35 years. Those stories actually happen. Some of these paternity doctors, they're like, hey, why don't you just use my goo? Oh. People are speaking, which, uh, about that already. 12 year old who made fake, fake bomb school threats knew she was too young to be charged. So she was smart, this little bitch. I think she should get real d- jail time. Charity shop in Swansea asked people not to donate sex toys. No dildos. We're not looking for that. Not enough of those. Man drinks four, four locos, destroys a gate, and forces an airfield shutdown at BNA. Please say. Four locos. One loco will make you go loco. He had four locos. First ever Florida man games will feature beer belly wrestling and evade an arrest. Obstacle course. I love the city of Florida. They're always up to something wacky. A new small New Zealand city has been plagued by drives blasting and sleeping Neil at 2 a.m. Ew. Hope it's not that Titanic song. I'll kill somebody. Long misunderstood baked beans are busting loose. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Uh, new speaker Mike Johnson blames school shootings on Teacher of Evolution. No, it's Marilyn Manson's fault and Grand Theft Auto. We all know that. Bible brief and pulled from Florida school shows after it was challenged for sexually explicit content. Sweden or Switzerland. Tourist, uh, Swedish Tourist Board launches a campaign to explain the difference. Teeny. Okay, I read that. Uh, Amerif reveals beer company wants her pap smear to brew new flavor. That's fucking disgusting! Who the fuck wants to drink that? I don't care how much you love the coos. Florida couple accused of taking turns cutting a man's throat and throwing him off a bridge, and the guy still survived. That's some Mortal Kombat shit. At around 10% of the internet is encrypted via uh, Lava Land. Health department invest. Okay, uh, yeah. 82 year old Korean man has a heart attack after choking on a live octopus dish. That's disgusting. What do you call it? What, what, do, you do, what do you get when you cross the drumstick? Uh, uh, a bucket of chicken and an octopus. Trump sticks for everybody. I read that in a joke book when I was a kid. Uh, theft of two million dimes with truckloads of coins from U.S. Mint leaves f- uh, for facing federal charges. Wagner, a veteran, visits his own grave after mistaking Kia port. Nintendo Switch drink driving game rated 3 plus from eShop, so someone's gonna die from that shit. Putin's top priest says nuclear weapons are divine providence. Mary Deputy accused of uh, misusing a database to ID car outside of a uh, boyfriend's home. A slice of the moon in half will be disastrous for Earth. But beautiful. I think I read that already. Man finds iguana in this toilet in Florida. I think I've read some of these stories before. Uh, King Charles. Yeah, this is it. Well, folks, I can't believe we made it to the 13 minute mark. Looks like there wasn't really a lot of odd news going on, but listen, it doesn't matter. Most people don't listen to this crap anyways, and well, I kind of don't blame you folks. But as far as what's on this channel for next week, I'm going to try to do a prank call show, I can't promise. Um, and uh, more awful YouTube shorts, hopefully from something from tomorrow night at, at the open mic. And uh, anything else that happens. Well folks, I thank you all for the bottom of my fat little rot heart for listening to any of this. And I'll see you folks in the next one. Go fuck yourself, Cuffy.